Hi, and welcome to another episode of Rockasoft tutorial series. My name is Stacy Thatcher, and today I'm going to be talking to you about working with presets using our PTZ Joy PTZ camera controller software. So PTZ Joy has a lot of preset management tools that'll help you organize your presets and simplify your workflow during a live production um, or broadcast. Um, today, what I'm going to talk to you about is um, how easy it is to manage your presets and the different ways um, that, and the options that you have for setting and recalling them with our program. Um, so just a little bit about my setup. I have my little racetrack set up back here for demonstration purposes. You can see my two camera views right here. Um, and then also I have the Rockasoft PTZ Joy controller um, as it's set up on my laptop here. So the first thing I want to show you um, in terms of managing your presets is our preset tile section right here. Um, and I already have my presets configured. Um, and once you have them configured, it is just super easy to recall them. All you have to do is click on these visual tiles here um, and the camera will move to that preset with the click of a button. Um, as you have probably noticed, you see these little images here, and these are really cool as a visual aid um, for you visual folks out here, out there. We um, call them visual lets, and um, you can essentially create an image for yourself to kind of help remember what preset is is what. Certainly, you can leave them here, you know, as um, preset you know names here with the numbers, but. I really like the fact that you can have an image to represent where your camera is going to move. Um, that is super easy to do. Let me just actually show you how to configure a preset. Um, let's go ahead and do maybe preset 12 here. Okay, it's going to go to just a general view and say I want to set this preset up. So I'm going to zoom in here and let's say we want, you know, kind of a view like this, right? So what you're gonna do, it's already, we clicked on the preset, you can see preset number 12 here, and you're gonna just click set. Okay, and so now, let's go back to our preset one, and then hit preset 12, and it's just gonna recall to the preset we just set. If we wanted to create a visual let of this preset, what you do is you just double click on this here, and it will pop up a you know, a folder on your computer where you save your um, image files. Since we don't have that configured, um, or I don't have an image for that, I'm actually going to create one right here with our snip tool. So you're just going to click snip right there. And let me get my snip tool. It opens up on my desktop here. Um, and what you're going to do is you're going to create a new snip. And you're going to snip the area that you want to represent your preset and then you're going to save it in that folder. Okay, let's call this uh, view one. And all you have to do now, your view one, and now you're going to have this new visual let that you created to help you manage your presets um, a little better. Um, the next thing that I want to show you, you know, if you're working with more presets um, than are available here on this um, panel, you can always exit out of this tile view and this is going to show you the preset dialer. So this is just simple to you. Say you're working with like preset eight, uh, 18 or whatever the number. You just dial, you know, the preset and then you click call. I don't have it set up, but that's that's just another way to recall presets if you're working with more, um, like I said, than just available on this screen here. Let's see, the next thing that I wanna show you um, is talk a little bit about um, our internal versus external presets. So what I just showed you, we were working with internal presets, and those are presets that, um, are saved by the camera. So the camera remembers the positions and when we recall the preset, the camera stores it in its memory and goes and recalls the preset. So the cool thing about our program is that we actually have an external presets. So those are presets that are saved by 
PTZ Joy. When you set the preset, it's saved in the program, and when you recall the, the preset, the program actually remembers what the camera's um, location is, so that's how it recalls it. So, you know, not only does it add the amount of presets that you can work with, um, it also has some other very cool advantages, and one of those is being, is being able to change the speed at which um, the cameras transition between presets. So let me show you where you can actually um, change that. You just go to tools and this little, little slider right here, um, you can increase the speed or decrease the speed of the camera transitions between presets when working with external presets. Um, this is great, let me close this out. This is great if you want a gradual transition. Um, between your presets. So let me just kind of show you what I'm talking about in this example here. Um, so these are my internal presets, but if I wanted to look at my external presets, I click this button here and now it says EXT for external presets. And what I did was I set up the same presets that I had set up for my camera um, internal presets on the external presets. So just so you see the difference in the movement, let's go back to my preset one. Okay, and if I click on preset two, see how it kind of cuts right to it? Well, if you were to do the same transition with, say, the external presets with a lower speed, what you're gonna get is a smoother transition to the next preset. So, say you're working with a TriCaster system or another live production system, if you're working on switching your presets when your camera is in preview mode, for example, and you know the output isn't being seen by your audience and you're switching between presets in preview mode, then using an internal preset and having it cut to the next preset isn't necessarily a big deal. But if you are switching your presets in live mode and your audience is seeing these transitions, you might want kind of a smoother, more gradual effect. So that is what um, that's good for. Let me see, the next thing that I want to talk about um, just really quick is, so once you have your presets configured, you can also switch between presets using, if you're using a, a joystick to control your cameras and even on um, your keyboard with our keyboard hotkeys. So just really quick, I'm going to make sure my USB joystick mode is activated up here and now I can call up on my presets. Oh, here we go. See, this is in the external preset mode, so it's going to move gradually. Let's go ahead and switch it to internal so I can just show you here. Okay. See, I'm switching between presets this way. It's another way you can quickly manage your presets. Um, and then I'll show you with my camera two here, the, the way, you know, switching your presets on your keyboards also very handy because we have these keyboard hotkeys that you can use to control cameras and work with presets. So let's go back to the preset one here. Okay, um, the next thing I want to show you is one of my favorite ways to manage my cameras and presets um, with our program here is this multi-cam direct control panel. So it's right here. All you have to do is you click on it and it brings up this window and what this does is it essentially puts all your um, most used cam views and preset views here on this controller and you can control your cameras and your presets directly from this panel with one click. You don't have to switch between your cameras. You can manage them simultaneously from this panel. You know, I have my two cameras set up, but you can set it up for four. Um, and so here, you know, you can just, instead of as, as over here, you know, in order to do camera, we would have to click camera one and then switch our presets that way. And then if we wanted to move to camera two, we would click camera two and switch them that way here you can just one click recall directly from this panel, which is super 
handy when you're working with you know multiple cameras multiple presets it's just it just makes your workflow that much more efficient um, just a note you can also um, manage your cameras from here so if you need to make some small adjustments um, there's these arrow buttons where you can pan the camera tilt you know pan tilt and zoom um, you can also switch cameras and ports here to kind of select which camera you want here um, so that is just a really cool camera management preset management tool available and the last thing I'm going to show you this is um, for you visual processor people out there um, it's our PTZ live preset um, control panel it's our visual control panel um, so what you do to access that let's close this guy out and you just go to PTZ live right here cameras back up here this gives you a bird's eye view of your camera's preset position. So what I've done here is I have taken a picture, like we did earlier with the snip tool, of my main camera bird's eye view of what it's looking at, right? And from there, it's honestly super simple. These little um, buttons represent your presets. So you just literally drag and drop your preset. So I have my one through four set up. I'm gonna set up my number five here, and then I have my number six here. I got my number seven here, and my number eight, let's say here. Once you drag and drop these, all you have to do is click on these little buttons and your camera is gonna move to its location. So, you know, it's, it's super easy to recall and it gives you kind of a perspective view um, if you're working in a complex environment. Um, this is a really cool visual tool to be able to recall your presets um, quickly. Um, just a couple of things about PTZ Live. I'm gonna do a whole nother tutorial on this um, feature because there's a lot of things you can um, do with it. But, you know, I have a, a my static image here that I use, you can also have this be a live video background. Um, you can also configure this for multiple cameras. So, you know, this is my camera one, but I can also configure it for camera two. I just switch here and I've already set a few of these up. Let me just, you know, again, simple drag and drop configuration. I forgot where my, I think this one was my nine. So let's recall those now. See how simple it is once you have everything configured, you just drag and drop and then click to recall. Um, you can also you know, make adjustments from here. Um, you can pan, tilt, zoom the camera. There's a lot of different things. And again, I'll do a whole separate tutorial on this. Um, but those are the ways that you can work with presets using this program, PTZ Joy. Um, like I said, there's a lot of, um, you know, ways to manage your presets, but I think that, you know, when you're working with, um, either live production or, you know, just anything with where you're broadcasting video content, it's so important to have, um, your presets set up and everything runs smoothly. Um, and that is what our program helps you do. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for joining me today and stay tuned for more video tutorial series coming up. Thank you.